Hello everyone! You are watching the X Tiles channel and we are starting a series of basic tutorials to help you master all the possibilities of this wonderful tool. This series will be divided into two parts. In the first, we will look at basic whiteboard editing and analyze the most popular media blocks. And in the second part, I will talk about more advanced functions. So, let's get started with the first part. Let's talk about tiles again. You can drag them by holding down the left mouse button. And by clicking on the plus button on one side of the tile, you can create a new tile with the same style. You can also select tiles in different ways. Hold down the Ctrl key and click on the tile with the left mouse button. Or by pressing Ctrl A, you can select all tiles. Once you have selected multiple tiles, you can replace them by clicking on the upper left corner of the tile. Now let's talk about text editing. When creating a note, you can customize the text with many options, change the format, add a hyperlinks, change color, and so on. And paragraphs are imaginary blocks that can be reorganized by dragging and dropping by simply holding down the left mouse button. Focus mode tile is also a great feature. With it, you can focus your attention in one tile and edit only it. To enable this mode, double click on the upper part of the tile. Now let's talk about the most popular media blocks. They can be found first in the list of all blocks. We've already talked about the blocks of note and image in the last series. And a more detailed review of the blocks of tasks will be in the next series. Therefore, now I will talk about bookmarks and embeds. Let's start with the bookmark. With the help of this block, you can save the link as a visual bookmark, which can be displayed in various ways one of which is Embed. Now I will tell you what it's based on the block itself. Embed is designed for adding third-party widgets and web resources. It's often used to add a Spotify playlist and various interesting and useful widgets. Now I will show you how to add a Spotify playlist to Embed. To do this, open the desired playlist, click three dots, share Embed album. Click the copy button and paste the link into Embed. Now you can customize the widget according to a template. Now let's talk about creating table, their parameters and editing. Create a table. Select the type of columns you want. It can be text, numbers, selection, multi-selection, date or checkbox. To add a column, click the plus in the last column. To delete a column, right-click on it and select delete. You can delete a row by right-clicking on it and select delete. To move a column or row, pinch the column header or row icon and drag into a new location. You can also highlight a column by right-clicking on it and turning on the Highlight Column slider. Hide headers, icons, change table, column width. You can also change the width of the columns by dragging the side faces of the columns. Tables have basic functions for sum, average, minimum and maximum values. That's all! Now you can use your tables for anything. Don't forget that you can always change the column type after you create it. You can add and remove as many columns and rows as you need. You can customize the tiles. Xtiles offers many tile customization options, making your projects unique and stylish. Now let's talk about the nested tile and nested page blocks. Nested tile allow you to create a hierarchy of tiles, making your project more structured and organized. You can nest one tile inside another to create some menus or sections. Nested page is a similar feature, but it uses pages instead of tiles. This gives you more options for structuring your content, as you can add text, images, videos and other elements to your pages. Now let's talk about backlinks and links. Backlinks allow you to create links from one page to another, which make it easier to navigate your project. Use thumbnails to mention other page styles or collections in your text, so users can easily navigate to them. You can send blocks to another page or to a collection in two different ways. Through the menu, you can easily move content from one page to another or add it to a collection using the context menu. And with drag and drop, simply drag content from one page to another or to a collection to move it around. Now let's talk about the linked page. It allows you to create a page, 
that will always be available from the right panel of the editor or from the collection. This is convenient for those pages that you refer to frequently. You can create links to any block. Tile links. Create a link that will lead to a specific tile. Links to the card. Create a link that will lead to the card with the description of the tile. Page links. Create a link that will lead to the page associated with the tile. Now let's talk about grouping pages. This function allows you to combine pages into thematic groups. This makes your project more organized and makes it easier to find the information you need. And let's talk about the page template in the group. Page template. Create a page template that will be used for all pages in the group. This saves time and ensures that all your pages have the same style and structures. Xtiles offers many powerful features that will help you organize and customize your projects to a whole new level. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our support team. They'll be happy to help. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out new lessons. You can also like this video and leave a comment to share your experience. See you next time!